So we've talked about meters, liters, and grams at this point. Now what I want to do is I want to talk about a special case and scenario where you can actually convert not between, say, the prefixes of a particular base unit, but between the base units themselves. So previously we were going from centimeters to meters, or from deciliters to hectoliters, or from kilograms to micrograms. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to find a way that we can correlate these different base units to each other. The way to do that is to first think back to math class. So if you think about a cube, and I imagine at one point in time or another, all of you have had to calculate the volume of a cube. It is length times width times height. So length by width by height gives us the volume of that cube. Now, what are each of these three parameters measured in? If you think about it. These are all lengths. Okay? Width and height are still distance. Which means, in a lot of instances, you probably measured them in the base unit meters or centimeters. Okay? Which means you had three units in centimeters, three measurements in centimeters, measured by one another. So let's say this was two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters. Okay, so it gives us two cm by two centimeters by two centimeters, which then gives us two times two is four times another two is eight. So that's eight. And the final unit is not centimeter, it's centimeter cubed. So eight centimeters cubed is equal to the volume of that cube. Now, this is interesting because I just spent a lot of time telling you that the units we use to measure volume in the metric system are based off of the base unit liters. And now I'm giving you a volume that's been measured in centimeters cubed. Well, the interesting thing is that Centimeters cubed actually is referred to in the medical position, uh, profession by a different name. It's similar to centimeters cubed, except it's called cc's, or cubic centimeters. So centimeters cubed is the same as cc's, or eight cubic centimeters. More interestingly, one cubic centimeter, or one cc, equals one milliliter, and this is true for all liquids. So one cubic centimeter equals one milliliter, which means this cube, which is capable of holding eight cubic centimeters, is capable of holding eight milliliters. Okay, so this is how we can correlate units that we had originally used to measure distance to units that we use to measure volume. Now, beyond that, okay, beyond that, there is one other interesting development to this. So this is for all liquids. So no matter what liquid you're looking at, if you can find the amount of liquid in milliliters, you can convert that to centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters, or if you can find the amount in cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed, you can convert that to milliliters. Okay. Now, there's one other thing. Water is a very unique liquid in that it has a density equal to one. What this means, first off, density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. Okay? So the mass of a substance divided by its volume gives you the density. Water's density is one. So let's say that we had one mil of water. One milliliter of water. What would the mass then be? Well, what divided by one gives us one? But one. 
So water is unique in that one gram of water equals one milliliter of water. And if one milliliter of any liquid equals one cc, then that means that one gram of water equals one cubic centimeter of water. So this particular principle here, where one gram is equal to both one milliliter and one cubic centimeter, is exclusive to water. So special property of water and a way to correlate milliliters to cubic centimeters.